managing schemas is going to be one of those things that you'll have to get used to. It's a new concept. It's a new idea. And the good news is, is at first, you really don't have to manage these things. That'll um, shock some people to hear that. But notice, I'm going to expand my sales database. And then I will expand the uh, security folder. And then you'll notice there's a schemas folder. Now, any schemas that I create in this database will be here. Now, by default, everyone's default schema is DBO, which means that if I just go create a table, and notice I'm just going to create a uh, table called um, Mark Test. And in this table, I'll put a column A of integer, column B of integer. And if I execute that, Oh, we can't find a uh, variable type of ing. Okay, if I execute that, you'll notice it. I created a table. Now, where is this table? It's actually in the default DBO, just like it always was in previous versions of SQL Server. So, until you're ready to jump into schemas, don't worry about them. Okay. Now, if I want to put that into a different schema, first of all, I have to create the schema. So, let me show you how to create one. I just simply type create schema, and I'll call this test schema and I'll highlight just that execute it and you'll notice I created the test schema now if I come over here and refresh this you'll notice that there's test schema now right now I can select from the new table I made called mark test by just doing a select command and you'll notice there's no rows in here but there are my columns so my tables there but what if I want to put mark test into the test schema well what I'll need to do is notice alter schema test schema transfer mark test. Execute that. Now notice if I go up here and try to select mark test it's going to say don't know what you're talking about. Now I've got to go in and designate test schema as part of that. So it's very easy to move these around and the way you move something is just alter the schema and transfer and give it the name of the uh, object you want to transfer into that schema. And then you can manage these things. And then we're back to just like we were before, where you can go set permissions on the schemas and so forth. Now, I do want to show you one thing that will come up in later versions, and the final version is supposed to be there. And that is, if I want to adjust the schema, if I go up here to my individual table, because each table is in the schema, notice here's test schema mark test. If I right click on it and view dependencies, then this will show me uh, the dependencies that this table has. I should be able to right click here or press F4. This is something that's not functional in the CTP version. It's supposed to be functional in the final version. I would suggest if you have the final version, go out to documentation and see how to move tables from between schemas uh, graphically. That'll be a cool tool to have. But as you can see, schemas are going to be something you'll have to get your head around. They can be a little bit confusing at first if you've not worked with namespaces, but it doesn't take but about 10 minutes and you've got it. So play with schemas, look at documentation on them, and plan your schema activity, plan your schema structure before you get into it, okay, because you can hide your objects from yourself.